Hey, Mr. Grouch here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about towing with your GX470. This is going to be a three-part series, the first one covering hitches. Not all hitches for the GX470 are made equal, so you got different options with different tow capacities. I'm going to be doing another video on the brake controller specifically and kind of what I recommend there. And the last video, it's going to come a little later because I'm right in the middle of changing up setups, is going to be on your transmission cooler. So anyways, let's get started, and I'll talk to you in a second. All right, so now on to the brake controller part of this video. This is a Concha P3 brake controller, digital controller. It's really easy to adjust um, brake levels and uh, also has a nice little trigger here to let you manually pull brakes if you need to. And um, what I'm going to be covering on this is not only just the brake controller, but the cubby mount that I mounted to my dash here. Uh, that's really nice. It's not made for this exact application, but I'll show you guys the part number. The links are in the video description for that. Um, but it lets it fit nice and neat up in your dash. And the bracket that comes with this brake controller is absolute garbage. Just throw it away. Buy this bracket, and it's going to fit nice and neat, and your install is going to look really good. Now, excuse the panel I have off down there because I'm going to show you some other stuff. But you can kind of see how nice and neat that brake controller is and how nice it's tucked up under the dash there. Um, what you're going to have to buy with this brake controller, of course, is going to be a cable harness to mount up to the factory um, uh, plug that's underneath the dash. And let's kind of dig up under here in just a second and let's take a look at where that is. Now on the lower panel, the harness assembly for the brake controller, you can kind of just notch out this lower plastic and run that harness up inside the dash. But this little panel just comes off, it's a single eight millimeter bolt. That comes off and that'll let, let you access the area that you need to plug into the vehicle's factory harness for to plug in the brake controller harness that's made for the this vehicle. All right, this is incredibly hard to video just due to the tight quarters, but way up under your dash here, you're going to find this little five-way plug that's going to be electrical taped up and kind of hidden up under the steering column area. Um, that plug is going to bolt directly into your brake controller's um, harness assembly made for this vehicle, for the GX470 or 4Runner, uh, that kind of thing. So this is actually going to bolt up directly to this and um, I'll do that in a second but that's all you have to do to get power to the brake controller now there is an external ground wire you can see this ground here this comes off your your uh, harness for the brake controller and where that's gonna run we'll kind of back out here and turn right side up that little ground you run around over here pull off your kick panel and you'll see I have it grounded to a bolt right here I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, the wire runs right around underneath and you can ground it right here, if the camera will focus. And that kind of completes your brake controller installation. Honestly, your brake controller full install should take you about, oh, 10 minutes at the most. So it's a real easy job. You just have to know kind of where those components are. One other thing I wanted to touch on is before you tow or tow heavy, if you're towing something tiny, a thousand pounds, 1500 pounds, you know, that, that's fine. If you're going to be towing something heavy, don't put other people's lives at risk. Make sure that your suspension is up for it. Make sure your shocks in the rear, your struts up front. Make sure your sway bar bushings. Make sure all that stuff is good and in good working order. If you're using airbags, which are awesome for towing with the auto leveling system, make sure your airbags aren't 20 years old and then try to tow something heavy with them. Get those things replaced. They're not that expensive to replace. Um, but anyways, yeah, safe towing, everybody. I hope this helps you out again, and uh, I will talk to you soon.